Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm gonna to share with you the results I've experienced roughly 10 years after my initial and in a sense earth shattering Kundalini awakening. I know a lot of people who stumble upon my channel found me through my Kundalini videos because they're going through it. It's kind of a, an intense thing to just randomly start going through um, in your life. It comes out of left field. It's it very, produces very unusual and, and real and life affecting side effects and it can last a little while, those side effects. So this video is going to share with you again what, what has happened 10 years after. How is Victor doing? How are the symptoms? How is his life? All these different question marks I know I had back in the day when I was going through my Kundalini awakening. Hopefully this video will we'll shed some light on that for you. Number one, the energy and physical symptoms gone. This would have been music to my ears because when I was going through this, I had such intense uh, side effects, energetic side effects and complications. I'm not sure about you, but for me, there was a few years there where I would have random intense rushes of energy that would just sort of like plow through my body completely unannounced to the point where it was downright frightening. Even beyond that, not everyone has it quite to that degree, but I would have a lot of the, the chakra blockages. I would have a ton of pressure in my head, my forehead, my, all my, my face, my head. Um, and it caused brain fog. It made it very difficult for me to think clearly and be articulate and to speak smoothly. I felt very like, like I was always like hung over something. And uh, also I felt very uh, spacey and disconnected and ungrounded. And it caused, it caused me to have a real difficult time relating with people in my day-to-day -day life. At that time, I was a personal trainer and I had to show up in front of a lot of people with, with their different energies and their different auras. And um, it, was very, it was very difficult because I had such intense ups and downs with these, with this, this, these symptoms. And it just made, made getting along in the real world a legitimate challenge. Okay. Also with the energy stuff, I was also very sensitive to, to food, to, to drugs, to substances. And I, I never really knew how I would be affected for, from my environment. I was just very sensitive and easily many different things in my life that were normal, like everyday occurrences would, would, would provoke these very uncomfortable energetic and physical symptoms. I was also exhausted, just lethargic for years. I was just so, so tired. I would always say I felt like I was a hundred years old. Um, and, and all of that, all of that is gone. I feel, I don't have any of those energy symptoms anymore at all. I feel like I'm at a normal amount of energy, if not a, a superior amount of energy, um, compared to a normal 35 year old person. And I feel overall, fantastic. Number two, I feel very much so re-grounded. What I mean by that, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate, is that after my awakening, all I cared about was spiritual information. I was reading, I read so many books on Kundalini, about spiritual awakening, about, about enlightenment, and all the different esoteric stuff, all about light workers and ascension and fourth density and the fifth dimension and all the shift and all the different things like that. That was all I cared about. All I was, I was so consumed with that stuff because it was resonating with me and, and I believed in it. And it was just so new and fresh and exciting, but it caused me to even be more ungrounded, unrelatable. I felt isolated and alone. I had a very difficult time uh, getting along with people. I remember when I was that I was a personal trainer again and just talking to normal everyday people. I'd say, "Hey, how you doing? How was your weekend?" They said, "Well, I uh, cut the grass. I went out with some friends. I had some drinks. I saw this movie, and it was just like it just seemed so 3D to me at the time. It seemed so uninteresting and unessential, and just I, I would have just died to talk about extraterrestrials." or the secret government, of course, or things of that nature. That's all I had going on 
in my mind that I felt very, very alone and very, very isolated. But that was, as I can look back now, see more so a byproduct of a temporary phase of, of new interests coming into my life that had their place. But eventually, again, it kind of died down. I started to become reconnected and re-enthused by normal everyday activities like, like exercise and just reading like books about <laughs> earthly matters in a sense. And just, just uh, I started a business and I started a family. All these different things became, started to replace my maybe over infatuation with uh, all spiritual things. And generally speaking, I feel very good and very content in my normal sort of mundane human existence. I found peace and happiness and joy and excitement in the simple things. Number three, my life purpose, my mission, my role has been exposed and turned out to be quite unexpected. What I do now, what I feel is my calling, is something I could have never in a gazillion years ever predicted. It's so out there, even to me now. Um, but there's that one word, it's fulfilled. The fulfillment you will have when you, your purpose is unraveled before your eyes is totally worth it. At the time, all the different symptoms I discussed were so miserable. I just couldn't wait for them to go away. But I can look back and see now they were a byproduct, just sort of a manifestation of the energetic stripping away of the, the limiting beliefs, the illusions of who I thought I was, the illusions of my, just the, my, my, my distorted perception and conditioned perception of reality was all being kind of washed and extinguished away by this uncomfortable process. And then underneath all of that, within every single human being, is the truth, is, is our light, is our divinity, is our purpose. But again, it might surprise you, it might challenge your own belief systems, but that's a good thing. What do I do? Well, at the time, I was this personal trainer, I love fitness, I love diet, I love working out, I love coaching people. And now I do, I would say uh, channeled inspired messages on YouTube guiding people through a spiritual awakening process and even even more out there in esoteric I do energy updates and talk about <laughs> I talk about the collective ascension energies and how they might be affecting the light worker souls who are doing a lot of processing right now what the heck if I would have heard myself say those last like few sentences I would have I would have been concerned for my mental health back in the day. So it's very unexpected what I do now, but it's, there's a level of, of, uh, of satisfaction, connectedness, fulfillment that is unexplainable and just so powerful when I'm doing my mission, when I'm shooting videos like this, I don't need anything. I don't need abundance. I don't need, there's nothing external that matters. It's how I feel that connectedness that was missing my entire life that has been rekindled by this process. It allows me to be happy and content here on earth. It allows me to just feel just amazing. And I promise you, Every single person right now going through maybe some of the things I was describing earlier will have this awakening to who you are and what you came to do and the what you came to do will fulfill you in ways that you can't even fathom. Number four, another big thing is my lifestyle has changed sort of naturally over time and become much more conducive to embodying a much higher vibrational frequency and, and degree of spiritual connectedness. When I had my initial awakening, I was partying. I was like 23. I was partying a lot, drinking, you know, going out and smoking weed every day with my friends. Um, I just didn't really, t I wasn't very mindful at all uh, about what I put into my body. I wasn't mindful of my mindset. I wasn't doing any meditation. I didn't even, never meditated up until that point in my entire life. And I would just sort of run by my ego and run by my indulgence and my impulses. And consequently, I was not content. I was not happy. I was not really embodying 
you know, my true potential in life. So the awakening, the Kundalini has sort of would shed light onto the many areas of my life that were affecting negatively my consciousness and state of being. And then slowly over time, naturally, I would gravitate away from the, the habits and the, the daily practices that caused me to not feel my best. And then of course, naturally, I would find myself gravitating towards things that made me feel better, like meditation, like breath work, like fasting, like eating a real clean, healthy diet, like taking time to just go off and be by myself in nature and go for walks and listen to, to music and, and read and, and you know all that kind of stuff. I now do, not because I need to, not because I need to get to some kind of end goal, but because it just feels better. Your kundalini is going to help you be more discerning of what you actually resonate with and enjoy and you'll just naturally gravitate away from the things that make you not feel that great. And then obviously gravitate towards the things that make you feel good and whole and complete. But over the last 10 years, just the way I live my life has transformed dramatically. And if I would have seen, you know, from a distance from the past, what I'm doing now, I probably would have judged it as being, uh, Tedious, uh, a lot to do, a uh, very high maintenance kind of thing. But again, I do all this stuff very naturally because I like it and it feels good. Number five, my external life has transformed and in a sense rearranged itself in a very unimaginable and profound way. All the things I deeply longed for have come into my life. Freedom, abundance, success, relationships, happiness. I have a lot of fun, exciting things I do. My schedule is kind of packed, but with all things I've put there that are fun, like vacations. And right now I'm in Newport Beach with my friend Aaron. I've been coming to Newport every other week all summer because I can. I'm not bound to a nine to five. I can literally do what I want because when you find your life purpose and start doing it and sharing the magic within yourself, you will be reciprocated by the universe in whatever way really matters to you. What I have now is what works for me. It's what I want for you. It could be completely different, but your life reflection, your life experience will begin to mirror the transformation you're going through in a very, very expansive and almost like, like a exponential kind of way to the point where your life will begin to become almost like a different life. I look back 10 years prior and it really almost feels like a past life. It doesn't even feel like I'm the same person because I'm really not back, back then I was just this, I had this, uh, all these illusions about who I was and what I wanted. It was always very much so just ego driven, very disconnected from my truth. But when you find that truth with the Kundalini and the Kundalini will help you do that and you start embodying it, your life begins to kind of mirror that, that awareness of who you are and all the practical things you want. Like again, the abundance, a lot of people struggle with that. The Kundalini is going to shed light on all the different things within you that are blocking your abundance because you're a soul, you're an eternal soul. And so am I, there's no reason not to be incredibly abundant and free and happy. And the Kundalini is going to go to work on you and help you uncover again, all the things that are blocking you from the truth of who you are. And then the experience that results from that discovery. Number six, finally, I wrote down service to others, a priority of mine and a blessing. Having gone through the storm so intensely as I have, and especially now having a YouTube channel where I can see a lot of, hear from a lot of people who are in the storm, there's an obligation. There's a calling to, to action, to help and to serve and in whatever way I can. And that seems like a lot of work. Oh, I got all this service. I want to just go chill and enjoy my life. No, it's a blessing. As I wrote, it's a blessing. It's so fulfilling. It makes me so happy to help. 
It's a very natural completion of this, this circle of transformation. And I guarantee as this happens, as you start to change and transform and regain your bearings and, your, and your, all your symptoms settle down and your purpose becomes un, unraveled and revealed to you when you start doing it and your life starts reflecting it, you're gonna look around and you're gonna feel that same calling as part of the process. And you're gonna just wanna help. Even if it takes a lot of your energy, even if it takes up a lot of your time, even if it takes up a lot of your headspace, You'll just do it naturally, but that's the biggest blessing of all. There is so much happiness and just real, real joy, just undiluted, un just, just pure joy in service. So I really look forward to seeing all of you beautiful souls going through this. Get yourself out there and serving in the way you feel guided and inspired and excited to do so because this is going to cause just a huge wave of transformation on the planet and it's going to be it's going to be a largely because of you and and what you do so anyways i know this is just sort of a not really an informative video i just wanted to kind of share with you just how much better life gets after a kundalini awakening the kundalini awakening can come on strong and hard and again unexpected and it can make you feel like your life is just getting suckier and suckier because all you're doing is becoming forced to to face all your demons and your darkness and 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 then and just combine that with all the unusual symptoms of the life rearrangements you're you just feel like your head's spinning non-stop when will it end it does end because you change and you change to such a worth, worthwhile degree. I promise every single one of you will look back and feel eternally grateful for this beautiful process you are going through. And the intention of this video is to help keep you trucking along, going forward, following the next right thing, taking action on the next intuitive nudge you get, and that's all you have to do to get to the big payoff. Okay, my friends, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you all well on your path and on your journey. Have an amazing day. If you're brand new to my channel, let me just say, I do offer everyone a free guided meditation that will help you align with your higher self, your higher consciousness in a more noticeable way. It's totally free. It's a channeled meditation. You can check it out down below if you'd like. And with that said, I'm out of here. Gotta get to the beach, gotta go chill. My buddy Aaron's probably circling around here, waiting for me to get done. Talk to you next time, my friends. Peace.